Well, here's our peregrine on the hunt. She's down here by uh, the Heritage Farms. Got a couple of merlins hunting the area in. About three kingfishers are trying to chase the merlins away and the falcon. The falcon was up in the tree with her mate over here. Now, this might be a juvenile here. Yeah, I think we have a juvenile peregrine hanging around here. I don't know. The feet are kind of yellow, but it's got the stripes. Now they're chasing kingfishers again. And we also have two merlins in the area. There he comes around again. They're buzzing around here just hunting the area. And they've been playing. We've got the merlin and the peregrine falcon and the marsh hawk. Well, we've got two, actually two merlins and this peregrine falcon and the marsh hawk. They're all doing flight maneuvers here. They say we're having a good time. Anyway, we're uh, down by the horse track, Kent, Washington, by the Heritage Farm. Yeah, we're checking these guys out and seeing the kind of excitement we can have here with the birds of prey. They're really displaying and flying, having a good time today. Chasing each other, and it's more looks look like play, but the Merlins were serious. They are trying to catch something. All right. Well, here's our red tail. He's sitting tight. He don't want the peregrine falcon chasing him. He was uh, dive bombing him earlier, the peregrine falcon. So this is a juvenile red. I can tell by the bars on the tail. And he's going to sit tight until that peregrine leaves the area because he knows if he flies out here, that peregrine will be right on him. So. Peregrine's over in the other tree now, just kind of keeping an eye on him. He dive bobbed him about six times, but the red did not move. Oh, he flinched there a little bit. But that uh, peregrine makes him pretty nervous. Well, I think we'll call that good. He's sitting tight now. And he doesn't want to take the chance on making a flight with that peregrine sitting there. Checking everything out. The red tail's not budging from the perch because he knows he can't outfly the peregrine. It's safer for him to stay in the tree. Like I said, he was dive bombing them earlier. Well, this is their territory and they're protecting it. What a good looking bird. We're happy to see him back. Got him in one of the favorite trees here. We get a lot of birds in the tree. We've done merlins and ospreys and blue herons. This is a very popular perch. Now we get the peregrine. Right, so you can see that see the slate gray feathers on his back there and by his legs he's got some barred feathers and notice that the wings almost come to the very tip of the tail they have very long wings there you go all right now he relieved himself he may think about flying here a little bit we always enjoy it when we find him and there he goes he's on the flight he's after the red tail again our osprey. I'm just kind of hunting around here next to the Green River. We're down by the Heritage Farm. Fragger Road South and South 204th Street. There's a turnaround here and that's where we're at. And he's uh, looking down in the river looking for a fish. We got our sunlight behind us here is coming in pretty good. 
was uh, sprinkling, had some showers earlier today, but now it's cleared off. So we're happy to find this osprey here, just sitting on the post right next to the riverbank. And you see him looking intently in there. The salmon are running now, so... I hear him calling. He might have a mate sitting up in the pole. But anyway, this guy's looking pretty good here. We'll keep an eye on him and... Uh, I'll back off, see if we can see the river, let you get an idea where he's at here. I'm using my cannon here. There's the Green River. That's his little perch there. And here we are, uh, right at the turnaround. I'm parked. I'll come back in. This is a hot spot. We see a lot of birds in this area. Peregrines and Coopers and everything hangs out here. A couple of Merlins. Yeah, he just looking. Look at this guy. Come in a little more, I think. There he is. He wants to get a fish. There's our red tail calling. He's in that spot there, in the thicket, where the Cooper and the Merlin and the Kestrel always hunt, and the Peregrine. You see a bird next to her too, so. They have a nest not far, there she goes. They raised two youngsters this year, and we know right where the nest is. All right then, we'll see if we can locate one of the Coopers. Yeah, there we have the Merlin and the Kestrel hunting together. Kestrel just flew. They're hunting these little birds. He's coming back now. He landed right up on top. There's our Merlin flying. Took out after some birds. Our Kestrel's still here. He's turning around, coming back. There he just zoomed around by the Kestrel. And there he's landed. They're both in the same tree again. How cool is that? They're in the same tree hunting the little birds. Merlin just took out and made a flight and came back, and the Kestrel did the same. The Kestrel's above and the Merlin's below. I'll see if I can zoom in on them. But they're hunting these goldfinches that are hanging out here. All right, there he goes again on another chase. All right, now we have the Kestrel and the Merlin flying together. All right, now the Kestrel's coming back. The Merlin's going across the field. There's our Kestrel. All right. Well, here is our Kestrel. She took over the perch and sitting here just preening up. She's enjoying the perch. I'll back off. I think there's a stellar jay right above her there. There we go. Just flew. A stellar jay flew out. And here's our Kestrel. Look at that, just kind of posing and enjoying the weather. You can see all the good markings on the side of her head there and her brown feathers on her back. I don't see the Merlin in the tree. They were hunting together, so. She hunts little birds and uh, grasshoppers, dragonflies, of course, any little vole or mouse too. So she's uh, checking everything out here. Got a little bit of a breeze. See the limbs swaying there and she's checking out the area for her food. We got a wetland here, got a lot of the dragonflies and 
some grasshoppers, small birds. She's mainly interested in the rodents, voles and small meadow mice, things like that. She got a little bit of a breeze picking up now. There's a pair of them. She has a friend she hunts with, it's a Merlin. I saw them working together the other day, so. Oh yeah, I can see when the wind blows the tree, she keeps her head in one spot and her body goes up and down. See how that works? It's amazing, isn't it? That way when they're watching something, their whole body can go up and down, but their head stays in one spot and they can stay focused. Yeah, I think we'll check around and see if we can locate some of the other birds. Okay, he's looking over his shoulder. He's wondering where that kestrel went. I can hear him flying around, calling. He's just sitting up here on his favorite perch where all the little goldfinches are. And He's kind of tired. He's been chasing some flickers. Now he's decided to preen up a little bit, work on his feathers and get in shape. He got his head bobbing. He sees something over there. It's one of our favorite places. It's the hot spot down by Kent, Washington. Also have peregrine falcon that hangs out in the area. We see him on a regular basis. There's uh, Cooper hawks, sharp shins, kestrels. And of course we got red tails and marsh hawk. Oh yeah. There we go. He's gonna preen up some. Look at this guy. Do some more preening here. Fan that. Look at him stretch. Isn't that wonderful? What a beautiful stretch. The leg wings up. Look at that. What a wonderful bird. Give us a great video like that. My goodness, we like that. Yeah, this is our Merlin. We're so happy to find him. He did his preening and he's stretching now. And looks like he's checking everything out. Might be just about ready for the hunt. Showing us a good profile there. Our lighting is good. We got a slight breeze and there's plenty of birds around for him to chase and dragonflies and grasshoppers. Oh yeah. Just to look into the left, look into the right, bobbing his head a little bit. He's got his mind on prey now. He's ready for action or he wants to go hunt. Look at this guy. He's very alert. Okay, he's, there he goes. He's off on the flight. He's chased a couple birds. Boy, they took off too. Coming right over. What a great bird. Well, here's our Merlin hunting. And his friend the Kestrel is helping him out. They flew over here. They're trying to catch some flickers. There's a couple of stellar jays around. Oh yeah, there goes the Merlin. Now he's after he's after the flicker. You heard him holler. He's making a curve and he's coming by me right now. He's very agile. Alright. Here's our Merlin getting ready for his next flight. Kestrel came back and joined him. He's been really chasing these flickers. There he goes again. That's that flicker hollering for his life. Merlin's circling around. He's coming back to the perch. Merlin back on his perch again. Getting ready for the next round. He's watching, mainly flickers he's hunting today. He's had a couple of close calls, I'll tell you. 
but he's made several passes at them. You can hear them screaming when they take off. Yeah, he has a good system here on the corner. He flies over here and there's a yard, two houses, and a kind of open uh, yard there. You can catch, the, chase the flickers. He's got the big dead snag he hunts out of, and then this tree here. This little short bush at this end and the higher perch over on the other side. When he comes off the high perch, he's got great speed through here. He's just barely missed them. Then he rings up, circles around a little bit, and flies over here in this perch here. He's just uh, taking a little break. He's made about 10 passes, and we've really been having quite a great bird watching session today of this Merlin. And of course, he has a little friend, the Kestrel, for some reason, hanging around with him. And we find that quite interesting. Now, normally when we come down, we know there's, there's a pair of uh, Merlins here, and there's a pair of Kestrels. So, but anyway, they probably know each other because both territories overlap and they're getting along just fine. He's keeping a sharp eye out, a lot of prey around. Definitely on the hunt. He's getting a little bit of a breeze. He's hunting the flickers and any other bird that moves. Like he's trying to rest a little bit now. He's had several good flights. He is definitely looking. He's going to preen a little bit. You see that little white stripe at the tip of his tail. He's got some fine stripes, gold bars on his tail too. You can see them when they're up close. It's a serious hunting business for this guy. He's paying attention to every bird that moves. They will catch uh, the dragonflies and the grasshoppers also. But we're having great fun watching him chase the flicker. There he goes again. Let's see what he's after. Oh yeah. He just chased a dove off the roof. Our Merlin's coming back to the tree. He landed a little bit lower. Let's see if we can get in on him. There he is. He did quite the hunt there. We'll just keep an eye on him. He made a pass at a dove. There was a morning dove and uh, he darn near got it. So he made a couple of circles around, chased as far as he could and the dove went to cover so he circled around, came back to his perch, and there he goes on the next hunt. See, he's a busy guy. Well, here's a stellar jay and a merlin in the same tree. The merlin's obviously caught something, and he's eating it, and the stellar jay is just kind of keeping an eye on him. Well, how often do you see that? Well, we'll see what this merlin has here. Ah, success. Our little bird caught something. It looked like it probably was a dragonfly. He just finished it up. You can see some of the colors on him now. This was an insect he had for a snack. I think it was a dragonfly. He's back on his lower hunting perch now. The stellar jays are coming in close. There's a couple of them in the tree next to him. Yeah, he's cleaning up his beak there. Getting some good sunlight now. Well, we'll see how he acts now. He's got a little bit of a snack, a little fuel in his belly now. Like I said earlier, he's been really chasing them flickers. That's the main birds he's been chasing today, so... We're just going to enjoy this guy sitting here in this great perch. We get a good view of him. The sunlight's good now. It looks like he's in pretty good focus. There he's bobbing his head. And like I say, he did get a little snack, so he might just uh, sit here long enough for us to make a little bit of a movie of him. We were rooting for him. Oh yeah, that flash there was a stellar day that came by. You know, his little uh, kestrel buddy was flying by too earlier. Okay, he's got two stellar jays in the tree with him. They've landed now. Back off a little bit so you can see them. There they are. 
You can see the size of the Merlin and the Stellar Jays are fairly close, so that'll give you an idea how big the Merlin is because you get plenty of chances to see the Stellar Jays, but you don't see that many Merlins. So here is a good comparison in the tree, and you can see they're almost the exact same size. But they can't fly like this guy. This little Merlin is a little fighter pilot. He was zooming around here. He was very impressive. Looked like a miniature peregrine. Several stoops he'd ring up. And you'd hear them flickers hollering, help, help. They were trying to get out of the way. Yeah, I imagine it was a pretty scary situation for him. I'll come back in on him now a little bit. There we go. There's our buddy. Ah, he got his tail in here. Here we go. There he is, enjoying the sunshine. And there he goes. He's off on the next hunt now. There he goes. He's coming around the clubhouse turn, going up along the fence. He scared out a flicker, and oh, he's coming back. You can hear him hollering. He's scaring him to death. He's going off to our left now. He's circling around. All right. Here's our Merlin hunting, making a few passes at the flickers. Made several good passes today. He's got a Merlin kind of hanging out. There he goes again, his other pass. He's really quick. Now the Stellar Jay has come in where the Merlin was. The Merlin flew out, the Stellar Jay took his perch, and the Merlin's over here chasing the flicker. Sounds like a close call. The flicker's making a racket. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. All right, Merlin came back in. Right where I had it set before. There he is. Looks like he's having a, quite the time today. Well, there he is. He's just uh, getting all set up. Back on his hunting perch, getting ready for the next flight. You can see the wind blowing a little bit. We definitely got a hungry Merlin today. He is chasing the flickers and everything else. There's some stellar jays in the area, but his main thing we see him chasing now was the flickers. And he's made several passes at them. That's our little Merlin. Usually he has a mate that hunts with him. I hear a woodpecker or something. There he goes. He's after the flicker again. You can hear the flicker. Oh yeah, he's stretching now. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, our Merlin doing the stretch. Look at that one. All right. Well, he's probably getting ready for another hunt. What a great bird. This is one of his favorite hunting spots. It comes down here on a regular basis. Enjoy watching him. He's watching all the little birds. And several of the little birds hang out here. That's why he's here. We got really good lighting today. Now he looks like he's going to preen up a little bit. Yeah, he's had quite a hunt today, so he's had a a good stretch here in the tree, and now he's going to do a little preening up. Oh yeah, he's reaching around there, getting all square. Got his chest feathers all fluffed out, his breast feathers. And you can see now that the wings come almost to the tip of the tail there. They're known as long wings. When he was flying after those flickers, you could really see how agile this bird is. Very good hunter. It's our Merlin. 
we're certainly glad to find him today. We got to watch the hunting display there with him for about 20 minutes. Of course, it's too fast for us to film on the flight, but we got him in and off his perches. Oh, yeah. What a great day to be making a Merlin down here and <laughs> video. Preening up in the sunshine, our lighting looks pretty good. We've seen this bird several times in the past, but never got this close, and, and this is the hot spot. We're on the Fragger Road South and South 204 Street, and we're just south of the Heritage Farm horse track. And we're about an oh, eighth of a mile west of the horse track on South 204 Street. And this is really the hot spot. We have seen Coopers in here, Merlins, Sharp Shins, Peregrine Falcons, uh, Kingfishers, many, many kinds of birds. But there's like a little pond in these bushes right below him. And that's why all the small birds are here. We have many raptors come in here and hunt. Well, here we have two exhibitors. They're hunting together. These are juveniles. They're probably siblings from the same nest. And I think they're uh, both male immature Cooper Hawks because I see they had their hackles up. I did a close up on the lower one. But I wanted to uh, let it run from this angle here and from this distance so we can see the small birds flitting around. Keep an eye on them. There you can see a couple birds. They land actually pretty close to them. <laughs> there he goes after one. Oh yeah, he moved over a couple limbs. All right then. We'll, we'll check out this other one here. Here, I see his sibling has moved over closer now, so I'll back off. Maybe we'll get them both in the same uh, video here. He's just sitting above him a little bit. There he is. Yeah, his sibling is up and to the left on the limb there. But they're trying to catch these little birds, and uh, the little birds are <laughs> coming in, kind of teasing them a little bit. Now, it looks like this one wants to preen up a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'll come in on There you go. Yeah, you can see the bars on his tail now and the spots on his back. But he's still keeping a sharp eye out for, the, uh, <laughs> for those little birds. He wants to make one of those his lunch, so I'll back off a little bit. Oh yeah, gonna relieve himself. Now he'll fly, yep. He hopped up a little bit there. He went over and uh, joined his buddy. Super hawks. They're hunting small birds in the thicket here. They're hunting together. You can tell by the spots on their back and they can put their hackles up. Oh yeah, see they're chasing these birds around now. They're kind of playing, doing little aerial maneuvers here. All right. That's a beautiful bird. There he's looking up. Because see the little birds, they land up in the limbs above them. You can see them flit by. <laughs> Gives him quite a bit of entertainment, and then he sharpens his hunting skills. Well, we got some ducks took off. Yeah, Cooper Hawks off. Now there's a bird right below him. See that? <laughs> See what he thinks about that. It's right below the, the hawk there on the limb. He's tried to catch him before, so this bird here is uh, not too much scared of that Cooper Hawk. <laughs> there he flew away. And he's looking over there to see for an opportunity on one of these little guys, these little birds. Seems very content. He likes this hunting area because there's many small birds in the thicket. They're eating the buds on the tree here, and he's thinking about, well, maybe I can catch one of those. Yeah, 
And he's on the hunt. A lot of little birds flitting around. He's found him a good spot where all the little birds are feeding and uh, he's looking for the opportunity to try to catch one. You see the little birds fly by every once in a while. And he's just looking every which way. There you get a good profile on him. See those white spots on his back and the bars on his tail. And he looks to the left and the right. Oh, there's the other one come back to join him. That's his sibling. There you go. He was off hunting in a different spot. There we go. Now you can see uh, the two of them together. Like I say, they're siblings and they probably hatched out of the same nest and they came to the thicket here and they've been hunting together. Well, we'll see if we can uh, see some of the little birds flit by. But they have pretty good success when they hunt together. And then, of course, later on, then they'll be hunting solo. But they're used to being in the nest and working together. And they're doing just fine, so. All right, then. I think we'll call that good. like he wants to preen up. Oh yeah, he's going to do a little clean up here. You see him turn his head around and see his tail. Look at that, would you? And he pulls the feather through his beak there, kind of straightens everything out. His siblings flying around chasing the other birds and this guy here is keeping a close eye on it. You can see some of the little guy birds fly by. He has some nice big white spots on the back. That's how you spot the juveniles. And they have the streak of chest. Oh yeah. A good looking bird here. It's got a really good perch. He's going to preen up. Got his hackles up, showing us the spots on the back of his wings. And you can see the bars on the tail from the back. So when he turns around, well then you can see the bars are really uh, lighter. And you get him from the front side this time, still in the thicket hunting, the birds are flitting by. You see the nice markings on the breast and the bars on the tail from the underside. They're looking very alert here. A lot of little birds flitting around. And Sitting here on the perch, hoping to catch one of them. That's a sibling that went off hunting too. He should be coming back, but they were hunting together here. You can see him looking every which way, and the little birds go by every now and then, so we're lucky. He's giving us the front side. Now he's going to preen up a little bit. Check this out. I get that tail squared away. We like it when they preen. We have a great spot here. It's uh, always going to scratch up a little bit. We got filtered light today, and, and this is a male Cooper hawk. And he's sitting here uh, waiting for his sibling to come back. And they've been hunting together these small birds, and I guess it works for them. They must catch it every once in a while, so. They're uh, probably out of the same nest here. So anyway, he's looking all over now, looking over his shoulder. He was preening a little bit, trying to figure out where his sibling went. And keep an eye on all the other little birds that are in the thicket. Well, he's going to preen a little more here. But you can see they have a long tail with stripes on it. And that's an accipiter. 
This is a juvenile, very close, uh, look very much the same as the uh, sharp shin hawk, only sharp shin is smaller. But the thing is, the sharp shin cannot put the hackles up on the back of the head, so. Oh, watch this guy preen up a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's looking up, looking up on top. Yeah, that's because his little birds are above him. That's why he turned his head upside down. Oh, yeah, he's going to preen up now. He wants to get all them feathers in shape now and show off his tail, all the bars in the tail and his wing. We'll just keep a close eye on this guy. Oh, yeah, he's... Got him a good perch here. You can see the spots on the back of his wings and streaks on his chest. And you can notice there when he puts the hackles up on the back of his head. So, like I said, that's how you can tell the Cooper Hawk from the sharp shin because the sharp shin cannot put those hackles up. And he's going to stretch his foot a little bit and put it up under there. He's very alert because he's looking at all those little birds that are flitting around. And he wants to make one of those a uh, little snack. The sharp shin's eye is a little bit bigger for the head than the Cooper Hawk, so that's one other way you can tell. If the eyeball looks a little bit big for the bird, that's uh, probably a sharp shin then, and the fact that they will not put their hackles up. Well, it's a great day for bird watching. We're down here. We got filtered light. There's plenty of little birds going on, and uh, like I say we've got a pair of Cooper Hawks here, juveniles, their siblings, and they were hunting together. And oh yeah, he's looking up again at them little birds in the twigs above him. Well, I think we'll call that pretty much good then. Well, here's our great blue heron. He's fishing down here in Camp Washington on uh, Fragger Road South and South 204th Street. And this is our great blue heron. And he's right there by the water trying to catch the little minnows. He's standing perfectly still. Just happened to see him when I was driving by. I turned around. I'm using my window mount on my car. And he's just sitting there just as still as he can be and waiting for a fish to swim around in that uh, little bit of water he's there. And he'll snap out his beak and catch one of those minnows. We have several uh, herons here. Saw an osprey earlier. And many other birds in the area. This is our great blue heron. Now, uh, last year we saw a green heron in this same spot fishing. So today we got the great blue heron, and one of our other movies we had the green heron here. So that's because of the little fish that swim around. It's a good spot for them to catch something. All right then. He's hoping to see him snap his neck out and catch something, but it doesn't look like it. We'll see if we can locate another bird. Well, there's our red tail hunting. We're down by South Center. He's on a post here. He's been here for a while looking down. It's like an immature red tail. He's out hunting. And we're down by the Boeing Aerospace. We get a little bit closer to the South Center area. And this red tail decided to uh, sit on this post and see if he can find a rodent. I happened to notice him when I was driving by, so I turned around and pulled in here. We got a little bit of breeze. You can see the cattails waving there. He's got a very good spot on this post and uh, he's been looking very intently down here. So I thought, well, the sun's right, I'll just set up with my uh, 
window mount on my car and see if I get a good video. It looks like he's cooperating pretty good. I was hoping to get in on seeing him pounce down. See how he's got his head cocked there? He's watching everything, but you can tell by the tail this is a juvenile. And he probably one of those that hatched out over there by the heritage farm with the horse track. There's a nest of them over there. I did see the peregrine earlier today in this tree over there too hunting, so. Anyway, I'm just making the rounds. Part of a little bird watching trip here and Oh yeah, he's still checking it out. He wants to see if he can catch himself a little snack there. Here's our green heron. He's just standing just as still as he can. Trying to become invisible. See his head there. Beautiful colors. They call him the green heron. And they nested over at the Boeing Aerospace Facility at the pond this year. And now they've moved over here just west of the Green River and west of the Heritage Farm. I think he might see a fish. He's getting excited here. We'll put him back a little bit. See what he's up to. I think he's going to try to catch a minnow. He's looking down now. They pay attention to the dragonflies when they go by also. He's a handsome bird. We're lucky to find him. It's a green heron. Let me get back here so I can see his little hunting area. He's got a little waterfall there and the minerals come by and he stands there and catches them. Very peaceful. Well, there's minerals in there. I'll come back in again. There he is, showing off his features, a little yellow around the eye there. Very good looking bird. There's a yellow eye also in that yellow stripe right next to it. It resembled American bittern, but when you get to looking at the two, there's quite a bit of difference. But about the same size, and it's brown marks. All right, then, back off again. There we are. Green Heron, down in Kent, Washington, not far from the Heritage Farms. All right. Well, here's our great blue heron. We're right there by the Heritage Farm, down in Kent, Washington. He's up in the big fir tree here, right above Mr. O'Connell's house, and he's preening up. I came down today to check on our birds. We've got a couple of merlins in the area, and a juvenile peregrine falcon, a couple of kestrels, and there's two cooper hawks still hunting together. So I try to come down fairly early so I can get in on the hunting and. Uh, Happened to see this blue heron sitting up here. And this is the same tree where the bald eagles like to sit. So I thought I'd make a little video of it. And the peregrine falcons are back on the Boeing Aerospace building. They're sleeping there every night now again, so. This is the hot spot for bird watching. I'm actually on the west side of the Green River on Fragger Road South and South 204th Street. And 
that's the hot spot for bird watching now. And I'm right next to the Heritage Farm. This guy just kind of sitting up here enjoying it. All right then. Well, we'll see if we can locate another bird. There's plenty of them in the area. I want to locate the two Merlins. They've been hunting down here in a little thicket with a lot of small birds. There's our kestrel looking at a bird that landed right below her. She's just kind of enjoying her perch today. I should back off. I think I could pick it up there, but that's what she's looking. I saw it fly in. We're enjoying the filtered light. And we're kind of keeping an eye out for the sharp shins. They come here and uh, there's a pair of merlins also to hunt this spot. So we're going to try to see if we can locate them. All right, there's more birds right below her. I'll back off a little bit. There we go. They've been flitting around in there. Well, they left now. All right, well, we'll come back in then. There's our girl. Anyway, it's a wonderful spot. Now it looks like it's going to preen up a little bit. Got some lovely rusty feathers on her shoulders there and white marks on her head and bars on her tail. Oh yeah. She's going to do a little preening session here. Find that there. And then, like I say, there's been uh, few insects go by and some small birds, so I also had a hummingbird come by. So we're going to keep an eye on her for a little bit, then we're going to look for the merles. Oh yeah, she's going to scratch her head up now. <laughs> Alright, well I hear the birds chirping. So the wetland is coming to life now. And We'll see what other kind of birds of prey we can find. There she goes. She's on the hunt. Well, here's our Merlin down by the Boeing Pond. The peregrine's on his ledge, and this little Merlin's hanging out here by the pond on a dead twig there. And we're all excited about it. Yeah. Glad to see that the peregrine's back, and we've been look, looking for the Merlin, and surprised to find him sitting here. So we're kind of excited about it. All right, he's looking every which way. Let's see if I can come in a little closer on him. There you go. I can see the markings on his face. A beautiful bird. We looked uh, for Merlins over on Canyon Road and couldn't find any, but we see a pair of these guys that hang around here uh, all winter and now uh, just happy to see this guy. Makes it very interesting looking kind of over here now. Oh, he's just a bobbin, he said. He's looking for something to chase, I think. Doesn't look like his crop is full. He's pretty flat on his chest, so he looks like he's hungry. All right then. See if I can uh, refocus here. Well, here's a duck just kind of sitting there. Wiggling. Looks like he's sleeping and drifting. Not doing much here. Just kind of sitting there. But he fell asleep at the wheel here. See if I can come over a little bit. Yeah, there he is. Just kind of taking a little nap. Some of his buddies swimming around there. There we go. How about that? This guy here swimming around. A couple of guys up there. It's a great wetland, and the peregrine falcon's in the trees, keeping an eye on him too. He's got ideas of having one of these for lunch, I think. Come back over and see this guy. Yeah, they got many beautiful ducks there just sitting around here taking it easy. I'll come back and see what else we got over here on this side. Oh yeah, 
see what this guy's up to. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's many ducks in there. Like I say, it's a good spot here. That's why the peregrine hangs out. He catches many ducks here. There's this pair here gonna swim around a little bit. Well, I think we'll call that good then. Well, here's our peregrine falcon. She's looking around trying to find the duck this morning. This is one of her favorite trees. We're not far from the Boeing Aerospace Facility. I just happened to see her sitting up here in the tree. I've seen her in this tree before, so... Now that I know where to look, it makes it a little bit easier to find her. But there's a lot of ducks, and she's thinking about maybe going to go get one. And I just saw the red tail fly by again. There's two reds, actually. Here comes the second one. That's what she's looking at. She, uh wants to keep a close eye on them. Oh yeah, she's uh, seeing what they're up to. Well anyway, she's down here for the ducks. There's plenty of ducks here now. We just drove by a whole flock in the water there and uh, if one happens to fly up in the wrong way, she'll take out after it. She's sure looking. Look at her look around here. And this is a uh, Again, one of our favorite peregrine falcons. There's two of them that hang out here and they hunt together on the ducks. So, one day if we're lucky, we'll be able to make a movie of her, of her catching a duck. So, but whenever we get blue sky like this, we like to try to get a video, and I think this is going to work out good. I think I'll move around and see if I can get a, a video from the front. So, we'll call that good then. But this is one of the resident peregrine falcons. We're in Kent, Washington, like I say, not far from the KOA campground. And this is where they winter out every year. Oh, look at her. She's, there she goes. She's after something. Look at her go. My goodness. Looks like she's going to come back in. All right. Well, she came back in. Yeah, she made a pass at the ducks. They flew and then... Uh, she sailed back in here. We're all excited about it. How about that? She's definitely on the hunt. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good spot today. So we got her taken out after duck and got her coming back to her perch. So she's obviously hungry. Now it looks like she's going to preen up a little bit. We'll make our little run and see if we can see the male. Like I say, a lot of times they hunt together and they have really good success when they do that. So we're all excited about it. Yeah, she's scratching up there. Yeah, she's a happy gal there. She's getting a little exercise here. The rain has stopped now. It's not too bad. So she did make a pass at the ducks. So she'll make another one here in a little bit. Well, I think we can probably call that good then. I'll uh, turn it off. We'll go see if we can locate the mail. All right, enjoy the video. Now, here's our peregrine falcon in the water, thinking about taking the bath. She waded out to where it's halfway deep. She was on her favorite light pole. There she got a little drink. I think she's wanting to take a bath, and I want to make a movie of it. Oh yeah, she's bobbing in there now. Let's see what happens here. Scratching up a little bit. She uh, roosts every night on the Boeing Aerospace Building, and uh, oh yeah, look at her bathe now, bobbing around a little bit, having a good time. She obviously had caught something to eat earlier a little bit. She was on her light pole. And I'd made a small move in. Oh, yeah, look at her bobbing and splashing out. And she decided to fly down here and take a bath. I'm all excited about it. I've been filming the Peregrine Falcon here at the Boeing Aerospace Building for a few years. I've never caught her bathing. I actually got fairly close now, so. 
we're having filtered light. This should come in very good. She's got big eyes she's got there. And she's actually used to people. Where she roosts, they're working around there with uh, road equipment and digging. And the, the noise doesn't seem to bother. So, Oh, yeah, she works really well with the people. I'm actually shooting from my car window. I have a window mount from my camcorder. So the car serves as a blind. I can get fairly close. And uh, I've got a clamp to the window. And she's here just taking a little bath and looking around. Actually, she's making a very good movie for us. She's not really getting into the bath vigorously, but she is bathing. Yeah, she's fluffing around a little bit. This is the female. We're still waiting for the male to return here. He winters out here too, but he's late this year, so we are a little bit concerned about that. Here she's getting another little drink. Maybe she'll bob in the water again. They like to stay cleaned up because they're a raptor. They eat meat. And blood is a contaminant, so they need to stay uh, fastidious and clean. So it helps keep down on the diseases. Well, I think we're going to call that good then. We've got a pretty good movie here of her, and doesn't look like she's going to get really into her bath too much. Just a little cleanup. So we'll call that good then, and enjoy the video. Well, it's our marsh hawk printing up. Sunshine came out. That kind of energized her to clean up her feathers. She's on one of her favorite poles now. Just to clean it up here. Preening up. Getting that tail. They got a lot of white on their body there. They're really distinctive when you see them flying. And they fly low with their wings in the dihedral position. And they're the marsh hawk. They fly low catching things. And... Uh, We've seen her here on several occasions, but we've never got her sitting still long enough on a pole where we could actually get a good video, so... If she's going to preen up, well, we're happy about that. There are many birds in the area now, and... Uh, we look for the peregrines down here. There's a pair of them that hunt ducks here. We have the marsh hawk here. We have merlin that hunts here. And, of course, we've got red tails and cooper hawks, but... We're all excited about our per peregrine falcons. They sleep on the Boeing Aerospace Building. We're just on the west side of the Green River, just a little ways from the KOA campground. Just a short hike for bird watching, and it's a wonderful spot. Well, we got many birds here. We're down by the Heritage Farm. They have a horse track there. It's on Frager Road and two, South 204th Street. Right there on the corner is the hot spot. So we're all excited about it. Well, I think we'll call that good then. Well, we got a belted kingfisher cleaning up. Looks like he wants to do a little fishing this morning. Well, yeah, I saw him go down earlier and uh, catch a fish. Well, a little minnow, you know. It's our belted kingfisher. He's a good looking bird. The sky is blue and he's preening up. We're enjoying the opportunity to make a video of him. Just right after he dove down got a little snack, now he's cleaning up. It's kind of cloudy this morning, so we're making our bird run. And just have to get lucky again with the kingfisher. We've seen the green heron down here also. So it's part of our route. We're on the uh, west side of the Green River, not far from the KOA campground in Kent, Washington. We have a horse stable with a racetrack for the horses, and that's where we're at. And this is really good lighting today. A blue sky, and we got the, all the blue on this belted kingfisher, and it looks just lovely. We're all excited about it. He's just a preening up on his wing. And, you can hear the ducks cackling away there. This is so lucky to find this bird. We've been coming down here, oh, for 
couple of months now. We're seeing many things. They have a pair of resident peregrine falcons that sleep on the Boeing Aerospace Building every night. So we're excited about that. We come down here, they hunt ducks in this area. And there's a pair of red tails. There's some cooper hawks hanging out. We've also seen merlins here. So. And we saw a harrier the other day, so a female harrier. Just uh, not far from this spot right here. Anyway, this is our belted kingfisher. Very nice looking bird. Very attractive, the coloring is good. We also saw a northern shrike about a week ago, but we want to get a video of that one, but he's hard to catch. It's a northern shrike, so we're keeping up with our bird watching in this area for sure. Well, he's looking kind of straight down. Maybe he'll dive down after another minnow. We're hoping to uh, see him fly off here. It doesn't take him long. We did get some good video of him preening, so maybe we'll call that good then. Well, here's our Shrike. Down here by the Boeing Aerospace Facility. He's looking around, he's hunting. He's went to several trees already. Trying to find him some breakfast. Got a long beak with a hook on the end. Very interesting bird. It's a northern shrike. There are two kinds of shrikes here, one or the other. There he goes, see if he comes back. Well, here's a pair of bald eagles. We're down at uh, Kent, Washington, right next to the Green River. And these two love birds are sitting up here in the tree. They didn't locate their nest this spring, but we know they nest here somewhere, and this is their favorite perch. And they sit up here in the tree and they check out uh, the river for fish and salmon. And they're looking around really intent here. We have some nice sunshine today and uh, they decide to sit up the top of their tree and uh, look for some fish. And if one comes in the river, they'll just sail down and catch it. We had quite a bit of rain again last night, but it looks like it's clearing off now. So we're all excited about that. Get out and see what the birds are doing in the area. Like I say, we're just lucky we found these two bald eagles pair sitting up here in the top of the fir tree. We enjoy that very much. We had a green heron the other day. We're going to go down and see if we can locate him. And we saw the peregrine falcon yesterday taking a bath down by the Boeing Aerospace Building. So we're going to spend the day down here this afternoon. See if we can. Uh, find maybe a cooper hawk. We saw a immature cooper hawk a couple of days ago fly over and land on the pole, so we're trying to locate that one. This is a bald eagle looking over the shoulder here at us, so maybe we'll call that good then and uh, go over and see if we can locate some of the other birds of prey in the area. Anyway, these are a pair of bald eagles and we're happy to have found them, so a couple of good looking birds. We'll call that good then. I think I can zoom in. I'll try to zoom in a little more. Get on that one there. Oh yeah. I'll well, zoom in too much. Well that's fairly good there, so we'll call that good then. Over and out. Well, here's our peregrine falcon still looking around. Looks like she may be hungry. Oh, she's going to stretch out a little bit, I think. Going to relieve herself. And she'll probably check around here, see what she's up to. She may be ready to fly. She's really looking intent now. Come in a little bit more. Maybe we can see her on the takeoff here. She's getting all horizontal. Looking down, watching the construction workers. 
Usually after they relieve themselves, then they fly away, so. She's still looking. Yeah, she's getting ready, I think. <laughs> I hear the crows hollering. They know she's about ready to take flight, I think. I have seen her in the past take a crow, so. They're on the menu. Oh, look at them wings out. Here we go. Spread them out a little bit. Get to working them a little bit, getting ready to fly, showing off. Whoop, almost. Look at that. A little bit exercising the wings out there. That's interesting. There, she tucked them back in. I'll be darned. Got a good chance to see that heart shape when she puts the wings out and folds them back in. Oh yeah, now she's sitting there looking good. I'll come back in a little bit. There we are. And again, we're down at the Boeing Aerospace Facility in Kent, Washington, just a little ways from the KOA campground. And this is our resident Peregrine Falcon up on her radio tower. That's her lookout, and she's checking everything out. And she sleeps on the building down by the Boeing Pond. So, call that good then. Well, here's our peregrine falcon. He flew over on the light pole now. He was over here trying to correct the red tail. But he came over here and I got fairly close, so... We're going to keep a little eye on him now and see what he's up to. We've got filtered light. And a little bit of a breeze now. But he was over there displaying or doing some aerial maneuvers around the female. He's came back from where he was. We've been waiting for him to show up here at the wintering spot. And he just showed up first time we've seen him. We've been watching every day for a couple of weeks. And uh, he's finally showed up here and was uh, flying and buzzing her. And so they were getting along just fine. And we're happy to see that he's back. And he was... Uh, dive bomb on a red tail and he sat up in the tree for a while and kept an eye on the ducks and here he is he came over on the light pole now we've seen him on this pole before but it's right by the pond and you can see the ducks and he's in the perfect spot for hunting so we'll uh, spend a little time here and see what he's up to Good looking bird though, it's, they've been here for several years with the Boeing Aerospace Facility in Kent, Washington. The road makes a curve and there's a pond there and he's right on the light pole, right there at the end of the curve. We're at the 59 Place South and 62 Avenue South, Kent, Washington. That's exactly where he is. Alright. Well, we'll check him out.